Well, I could just mention a number of the ones here, beginning with the early uh, Christian church. Uh, the, uh, it's widely uh, assumed and asserted that uh, the Christian church wiped out ancient science that had prospered in Greek antiquity. Uh, when uh, there wasn't much science for the Christian church to wipe out because the Romans weren't that interested in science. And so, although technology had prospered in the early Christian era, uh, science hadn't. And the science that was preserved into late antiquity and the early Middle Ages was preserved largely by, by Christians. Uh, we've heard over the centuries, or at least a century and a half, that during the Middle Ages, the, the Catholic Church uh, prohibited uh, dissections, that they taught that the earth was flat, uh, that they uh, generally opposed uh, scientific ideas, all of which uh, are, are wrong uh, historically. Uh, back in the uh, second half, or you might even say the, the last third of the 19th century, the notion that, that science and religion had been in conflict uh, was popularized especially by two American authors, Andrew Dixon White and John William Draper, who both had been affected at a personal level by what they deter what they believed uh, were uh, attacks from the religious communities. And so each one went on to write uh, books that were translated into many languages, reprinted all over, uh, probably are still in print today. Uh, Draper was especially critical of the Catholic Church. He gave Protestants and Muslims a free pass. Uh, and White was especially uh, opposed to, uh, to any uh, theological uh, dogma. He said religion is okay, but what he meant by religion was simply the golden rule. So, of course, you're not going to have any conflict with religion, and he focused in his last book, anyway, on, on theology, and these ideas... Uh, were accepted by many people who feared uh, religion in the modern world. Uh, Draper wrote his book soon after uh, the Vatican declared the doctrine of papal infallibility. And there was great concern about uh, freedom of thought and freedom of other religions with a growing, what appeared to be a growing Catholic uh, presence. So you, you had this fear, and so the myth that, uh, that religious groups would try to prevent uh, science uh, had a fairly receptive audience, although I believe that most people didn't agree with it. But it, got, it generated a great deal of discussion. And also keep in mind that in this very period, uh, the most widely discussed scientific view was organic evolution, and especially the idea that humans were related to apes. And uh, so some Christians, as you might imagine, were very opposed to that, as were some Jews and, and most Muslims. Uh, so uh, there was a basis for believing that uh, religion religious organizations and individuals uh, might well try to stop the teaching or the preaching of, of such radical ideas.